Farmington football team will build on three straight seasons of winning football as they look for their first district championship since 2011. I'm Chad Speaker with your Farmington Knights football training camp report. The Knights went 7-4 last year and returned nearly their entire collection of skill position players. The conversation starts with senior running back Roy Saris, who ran for nearly 1,500 yards last year in his first year of high school football. It was definitely a, a, good, a nice experience to, to go through. It was, it was nice. I loved, I loved every minute of it. It was, it was an eye-opener, though, because, you know, being the first year of uh, high school football really against a uh, different colored team, so it's... It was, it was nice. I loved it though. It was, it was great. My legs got a lot stronger, arms got a lot stronger, so I, I like it. In the weight room, putting a lot of work in. Coach Eric Krupe says they'll be creative in getting the ball in Royce's hands. The known quantity is Royce. Everybody knows who Royce is, and he's an explosive athlete to me. He's the most explosive athlete in Southeast Missouri, and it's going to be fun to watch him play his senior year. You know, he's somebody that we're going to put in different positions. So, you know, he'll play the A back position, which is the, the wing position in our flexible on offense, but we'll also put him at the fullback position, and he may see the ball in his hands at the quarterback position. Uh, a time or two. Joining him in the backfield is electric transfer running back Damon Guthrie, who averaged over eight and a half yards to carry last year as a junior at Potosi. Royce likes his running mate. Uh, he's looking great. I'm actually really excited to see what he can do in practice and everything. He's looking great, so yeah. He's quick and he's 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 uh he's elusive, really elusive. Like he you can't tackle him, so it's it's great. It's amazing because then you have multiple threats, and so it's not just one person all the time. So it's nice. In fact, with an option-based attack, really two more running backs return in the form of two experienced quarterbacks, senior Carson Sutton and junior Caden Files. Sutton says it's much less of a competition, but rather two players helping to make each other better. I think we help each other out a lot. I mean, I'm a year older, but he's he's had more playing time for quarterback wise, but I mean, we kind of roll off each other and we do great. I wouldn't say it's a battle at all. We've been, I mean, we've been working together fine. We've been doing awesome. When either Sutton or Files goes to the air, they'll have a couple of experienced and speedy wideouts as targets with seniors Eli Lamb and Sam Nicholson leading the group. Krupe has confidence the men on the outside will be playmakers. Eli Lamb and Sam Nicholson, who both started two ways as juniors, and Kel Krause, who's a rising junior, who's got some good things he can do for us. So we've got kids that we can get the ball in their hands and have them do some things for us. While the ball carriers and receivers return nearly intact, the lines are going through a transition. The Knights graduated seven of their top linemen. Judd Cunningham and Alex Smith do return, but Krupe says there'll be a shift this year to put a premium on speed at the line spots. What we've got up front now are, are kids that play with great pad level and fire off the football. And we've got offensive tackles that can get up to that next level fast. And ultimately, that's what we want is to be able to get up to that next level and, and get a head on head as fast as possible, um, but then play with great pad level. So when we are having to block somebody on the first level of the defense, uh, we do so and we get pushed and we reset that line of scrimmage. Senior Rothman Harris slides over one spot from tight end to tackle. Tight end last year was my first time even being close and then tackle now. It's fine, it's different. It's uh got to be a little more it's a lot of responsibility like you have to know what you're doing in different situations and stuff but it's fun defensive side of the ball looks much like the offense with Sutton and Tyler Barber anchoring an experienced linebacking core Sutton says they're still working on depth at the position but it should be a strong unit this year I got moved to the other side of the ball but it's kind of the same responsibilities you know just kind of mid-level stuff in the past game and kind of outside run fits when it comes to the inside guys but linebackers in general they're they're really the you know force defenders we really gotta you gotta kind of keep everything from bouncing out and keep it just from hitting the seams in the secondary returns every starter plus some with lamb and nicholson on the corners and harris wyatt westbrook files and drew felker in the safety spots you've got returning starters galore sam nicholson and eli lamb were both cornerbacks that receive some form of all-conference mention you know wyatt westbrook is a returning starter is a you know, as a junior, uh, Caden Files started as a junior or as a sophomore. Now he's a junior. You've got Royce Harris is going to see more time on defense as well. And then, you know, Drew Felker, just a sophomore, I think, could do some nice things for us at the safety position. So you're right. We've got some bodies that that can do some nice things for us in the secondary. And, you know, we played some pretty good pass defense last year. And, and hopefully we get more of the same and maybe even increase that. The defensive line returns Alex Smith and Cunningham, uh, but they'll be led by sack master Rothman Harris, who looks to be in opposing backfields all year long. You're going to be hard-pressed to find a better defensive lineman in this area than Rothman. His explosiveness, his ability to get off the football, you know, he's the best pass rusher that we've had in, in a long time. And, you know, he's a known quantity. You know, we, we know what he can do, but you know, watching him this summer, he's, he's just going to be better going forward. Rothman packed on 20 more pounds of muscle and increased his speed. 
He says he's even working on some new tricks. It's more technique than skill, which it definitely is. And me and Alex, our other defensive end, we always were watching videos and learning more technique that we can. So, because, yeah, strength and skill and speed are going to play a part, but technique mainly, that's the most. And, like, we have our move in our head before we snap the ball, and we know what we're going to do before the snap of the ball. Strong special teams has been a calling card of Eric Krupe's teams every year, and this may be the best one yet. Kale Kraus returns for his third season as kicker and punter, and Coach Krupe says that his leg won't be used just to give the ball back, but rather to score points and flip the field. The vast majority of the time it's going to go through the uprights, and he's got, you know, he's continuing to increase his range from a field goal standpoint. And, you know, sometimes field goals, you know, it may be only three instead of seven, but there were some crucial three point plays that he got us that really were turning points in the ball game, you know, to make a, a two score game, a three score game, and, and change how somebody's got to be able to play from that point forward. You know, um, you know, he is definitely a weapon in, in being able to punt and, and change field position or pin somebody inside that 20-yard line, inside that 10-yard line. And Royce Harris leads a group of returners that can take it the distance every time they touch it. Listen to Farmington Knights football all season long with me and Farmington All-State linebacker Roper Garrett on AM800 KREI, starting out with a road game at Union and wrapping up the regular season at home versus the rival Central Rebels. Make sure to start your Friday nights with the Fleet's Equipment pregame show. Wrap it up with uh, home pools and spots. End zone show all season long.